we actually met each other about five years ago, and that was at a, at a bir friend's birthday party. Yeah. I organized it, well, we were organizing a surprise for a friend, and then he showed up. And I've never in my life had to say to someone, ever, I'm really sorry to do this, but please can you just not talk to me anymore? Like, he was, he was a different human. Um, I had a suit, and my hair was flushed was down the manager, there. Oh, well, he was in the corporate world. Basically, I, I, was, I went down the rabbit hole a little bit. So I was, I was taking drugs, and I was in a very... It was a, it was a good state, he but a bad arrogant. state. I was, I was Yeah, I was very arrogant, he and I was very... Person. I was very posh with my suit, and, and I thought I owned the world. And I'm 11 years older than him, so I've just so been there. Never living that like, one down. Just, just don't bother. Just don't even try to yeah. talk to me. He wasn't ch chatting me up. He was just talking. And I was like, can I just go talk to my friends, and can you just please go away? But then, but then two years later, there we go. I didn't even recognize that he was the same human. He came into a project that I was working on as a volunteer, and he was the most beautiful thing in the world. Yeah, yeah, come. Perfect! Perfect! Come, come, come! Ice cream! We've that got our own ice cream! cream. <laughs> we have How have you come to living in this wonderful bus? Freedom. Well, Freedom. Yeah. And minimalization. I think this is what, what it really broke down to. Jeez, Worrying about money together. has been a big thing in my life. We never life. had it, it it's, since we've chosen this lifestyle, yeah. but it's never been a problem. But it either. used to run my life. Was, this is this is one thing I found out. It used to run my life, and it was always about money, 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 money. And where I need to make the money to pay rent. Need to make the money for this. Need to make the money for that. We have totally changed how who we were and how we were, to adapt to not needing to have any money, so that we can have the freedom that we want. So we're nearly ready. We're almost ready. Do the storage move, and then that's it. And then park up next to the, the hospital. Yeah. Does it scare us living in a van with a baby? It excites <laughs> us much more than it scares yeah. us. When I got pregnant, we had to upgrade to having things like a log burner, a water pump for hot water. It has to have hot running water if you have a baby. A shower, a bath, you know, very simple. Everything's like dinky. We've got everything, but it's all tiny, um, mm. miniature. Oh, it's definitely scraped up. What did he scrape on? Yeah, he's okay. He's okay. It's only colour. Well, we need to repaint the bus anyway, don't we? Yeah. You don't envisage the baby is going to change your way of life at all, then, do you? Uh, the Not baby will definitely the baby, change our way of life. Do we envisage that the baby will change our way of 100 life? Hundred percent, it will, but it will, but not, not in a derogatory way. It's yeah. not going to take. It's not going to. So when we found out I was pregnant, we're like, oh my god! But we wanted to travel Europe and live in a bus. Can we still do that? We looked at each other. We almost didn't. We almost. We looked didn't at each other. And we're like, why yeah, wouldn't? Yeah. We can definitely still do our traveling because we yeah. both really wanted to do the traveling. We're still going to do our traveling. We're still going to live on the bus. Baby's just going to come with us. Yeah. I think you should add the little bit that you do in the beginning. The yeah. intro would be really cute to come back at that point. 